Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn, where we've done it. We finally done it. The Earth repopulator is built. And we just need to fill it with treaty planks and berries and we can launch it. But I don't want to do that yet. Maybe I don't want to do that yet. Maybe I do want to do that. I don't know. What do you think? Should we launch this? Should we fill it and launch it? I'm not going to do this episode. Nope. Or should we hold off and actually finish building the rest of the place first? Grisco wanted this to be uh, built, to be launched, to do that. But he also said he wanted us to live in prosperity and be happy, joyous, and excuse me. Um, and we haven't done that yet. I'm sitting 29 happiness and we could potentially go up to 60. So uh, we're not there. We're not there yet. I haven't got all the food done. That's a problem. That's a problem as well. Um, yeah, so, so what do you think? Should I launch it now or should we hold off? Should we wait until we get to, say, 55 happiness? Let's not go to the 60 um because it's very difficult to get there and stay there so um let's go with that and then, and then we'll see whether the legend of riska returns will riska even come back is riska even will nobody remembers it was 145 years ago when uh the legend was apparently written and no beaver was alive he's still alive by then no 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 beaver knows no, it's, it's just it's just legend just myth just who knows but it's done but yeah um however i will say um that little uh Time lapse at the start. I said time lapse, just a speedy, speedy up buildy of the Earth Repopulator. It's an awesome build as well. It's very nice being building sec sec uh, sections. Um, that recording was 31 minutes long. That's the game running at four times speed or three times speed or whatever this one is here. One, two, three, four, whatever, whatever this one is. Here. So it's it, the maximum speed you can run normally without bringing the development console up. Um, 31 minutes. Now, I think this is four times speed, if I'm wrong. So it's one, two, and four. Uh, if it is four times speed, that means that if running at one time speed, that would have taken us two hours to build. Two hours with this many builders. You saw how many people were working in there? This many builders running here. All of these are populated because we have 71 beavers doing nothing. Um, yeah, you want to build one of these things? You're yeah, going to be waiting a while. They take a long time to build, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, so all our towns are done. Everything's sorted out. Everything's done here. There are some issues with this system, uh, which I need to address. You'll notice this here, and you'll notice this here. Yeah. When this uh, fills with bad tide, um, it, kills, it kills all the coffee beans, which I didn't realize um i also don't know whether coffee bushes spread on their own they're technically a tree berries spread on their own so why shouldn't these mm. uh speaking of berries we're good we got nearly five thousand berries we're good so filling this with five thousand berries shouldn't be a problem at all i think it's probably a low priority for um the haulers to come to because it, sh it should have been filled like instantly but it's not um so yeah uh, it also says after some now classified tests with a catapult this design was adopted instead <laughs> cool um but yeah all the town's done uh we don't have any food processing though that needs to be done and that's where i've messed up so i was going to run the power out from here along to here so we could process the food over here and then I went and built this and this and this and this and now we can't get the power out. So, damn it. Um, we can run the power out from here, technically down, because I think we can access the side of this. Uh, but then we can't do it because we go under there. So that won't work uh, because that's supporting that. So we can't drop that down. Uh, we could do it here, potentially, maybe, possibly. But we'd have to move this here because um the power would have to come out of this and go around because you can only come out the corner pieces you can't come out the sides here there's no um there is no connection for power there um this building doesn't require power i put power underneath it uh if we scroll down but i have power underneath it connected to it but um it doesn't need it and i don't think it transfer power either i don't i'm not sure let's see here uh no it doesn't transfer power either i had planned to maybe perhaps put the um tail uh detailers in here uh but the detailers 
don't require power. So we can put details in around here. Okay, um, let's do that instead. Uh, let's put the details in here. So I'm going to do one, two, three, and four, like that. So you come around this thing here and you can get your tail detailed if you want to. So that'd be cool. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah. Power is going to be the only thing that I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. Uh, um, it's not even like I can. I even come up and into the back of these buildings and then run the power line along to the back of these buildings and do so I could do something like that. I mean, that's a potential. We could run power above this and over here. And get power out of the sides here. Um, I could alternatively just blow this road up along, or this road. That's that's probably the better idea. Let's blow this road up all the way along, and do it there. Uh, these builders we don't need anymore, but I'm not going to. I am. I'm going to move them. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move them. Um, uh, so yeah, let's move these builders because. We've still got some things to build, and we're going to have loads of beavers just doing nothing anyway. So let's uh, let's cut them down a little bit, but let's move them. Let's put uh, let's put them back here. Let's put them back here. So uh, let's put them here. One, two, three, four, five, and then do five over here. Uh, oh, I can't. There's a road there. Why is there a road there? Should there be a road there? No? Yes, maybe? Yes, there should be a road there. Okay. Oops. Right. Uh. Hmm. Ah, that may be because there was berry bushes here, so I hadn't finished putting the road in. Yeah, let's do that. Boom. There you go. So that connects to there. You connect to here and then do a wiggly around there. That's fine. Yeah, that's okay. Right, okay. So then we just put the builders on this road here. Uh, like this. So we just go one, two, three, four, and five. And then go one, two, uh, three, four, and five. The weird stuttering I was getting last time around. Um, I, I, I would... Uh, yeah, I, I think it was from leaving the game running for too, too long. Um... Uh, and uh, it was causing issues that so um, this has obviously been restarted recently so it's fine there so we'll do that we'll get those builders built there and then we will set these to be the last priority because I want beavers working everywhere else apart from in these guys um, not that there are that many jobs to work elsewhere but that's fine um, I have also adjusted the mushrooms and algae um, uh, so it now goes uh, from the bottom row up. If I can click it, um, we have well, we have uh, algae, mushroom, algae, and then above it it goes mushroom, algae, mushroom. So we have even amounts of mushrooms that they're just stuck in a in a check. -up. So you know, one's got two mushrooms and one algae, and one's got two algae and one mushroom on each floor going down. So yeah, and that gave us a little bit more mushrooms. We actually have a couple of mushrooms in stock. We don't have any fermented mushrooms in stock, I don't believe. We've got 45 fermented mushrooms in stock, so this is struggling and we'll probably need more, um, if I'm honest with you, but I'm, I'm kind of okay with that for the minute. Uh, I think what I'll do if I need more here, I might take all this out, the fermenters, all of these fermenters out, put in more hydroponic farms this side, coming up, um, and then move the fermenters down here or over here or whatever we want to do so i want to move these out of the way so yeah right so let's remove all of these uh your employment has come to an end we thank you for your services but um yeah <laughs> i'm afraid them's the brakes Oof. okay uh and then we want to run power out through this outlet here Yeah, I think we'll run through here. I can't run this one here. Well, I could. I could potentially run this one here and this one. But I think we'll just run it both here. I could also do the outside one here. That might be a better idea because that won't disrupt so much stuff. But we can't do that because there's a 
platform there so we can't do that one either um this place doesn't have power it runs to this edge and stops um what about this end we could run it out this end and then i think running it in the center is going to be better for us and then we can run power from wherever maybe do both lines coming down might be a good idea so yeah um He's going to potentially cause problems to certain things. Do you know what? That's just how it's going to have to go. Uh, so let's start here and we'll run a strip there. There. Doop and doop. Fortunately, beavers can walk on top of uh, explosives. So, um... It shouldn't be a problem for them. Obviously, we don't want them walking on the explosives when the explosives go off. That's not a good thing. Uh, but what it means is that I can put the paths in. I can do this. And then what I can do is I can be like, okay, so we need to disconnect this one. So I disconnect the path here. And at every junction, we'll disconnect the path. Um, so no beavers can walk onto it. And then we'll detonate it and away it goes. So that's fine. Um, let's also um, come back up. Uh, let's run a path around there and around there so I can remove this guy here. Walk around. So disconnect that one and run the power this way. There's nothing down here that needs power. As I said, I don't even remember if I put power... Oh, no, I didn't even put power underneath this guy. I should, I should run power underneath this to get stuff at the back, but yeah um we do also want to have the um uh what are they called the um mud baths in here as well so we need to have a connection for the mud baths to that as well but we can always come in here and connect them on the i think we'll do that i think we'll have a, like a connection here and here and then here and here and we'll run the mud baths up there and there and there and there so let's also put in some explosives for those like that uh they're two each so one two three four five won't need the end ones but yeah um so let's, I oh know we do want to do the M1s there because we need, oh, we can detonate a river. We, we can put in a, a cross river. So let's not do the two there and let's not do the two there. Let's disconnect this um, here. Put it across like that. Do the same here. So disconnect there and there. Doop, doop. Let's up the priority of those two and those two. Get you building those. Okay. Do, 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 do. And then we can get some power out here and we can start putting in... So whatever's over here. So um, what's this? This is... Eggplant, canola would all be processed over here. Coffee would be processed over here as well. Uh, corn as well. And then we'll do soya beans, cassava over here, and maybe bentos over here or something. I don't know. Uh, the mangrove farms I have absolutely underestimated, like severely underestimated. I don't think oh, that's, that's the most mangroves I think I've ever seen in this box. Um, however, I think that's only because we've got food, technically four types of food sources right now. Uh, we've got cassava and kohlrabi, which are good. The mushrooms come in and go away, and the mangroves come in and go away. So I think they've been eaten a lot. Once we get the other food types up, this might be enough. Actually, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Um, the other thing we need to do is we need to protect this off here. So I need to remove 
this path along here. Like that. And we need to put in our irrigation barriers all the way along here to stop the uh, edge of this seeping out and affecting things. Now the coffee bushes have already died. Um, I will test with the coffee bushes uh, whether um, they grow on their own. And the easy way to test that, if I, uh, actually we can test it right now. Um, if I was to come in here and say there and just remove all the planting like that. Including the one on the edge. Um, then we can bring up the development console and we can scroll down here. And I believe there is a toggle... Called show. So much reset toggle guys toggle toggle force wind. No. Uh gas train nav mesh. I can't see it now. There's one in here that allows you to see highlight resource repopulation spots. Yes. Coffee beans do indeed spread. Cool. So that means we don't have to worry about replanting the coffee beans. They will automatically spread into these areas here. Uh, the, the, the pink basically means that um, any coffee bean... Uh, the pink means that a coffee bean can spread into this area. So it means that these coffee beans are looking to spread to these ones and this side as well. They're also looking to spread here. Obviously, they can't spread into the water, so that's fine. And these are not looking to spread because when you put crops on top of farmland, they stop natural spreading. So if you have a game that is becoming a little bit low on the frame rate and having problems, go around where all the trees are, everywhere there's a tree, and put in the uh, uh tree put in the um the tree this type so if it's if it's a uh, so like here for instance we've got um uh, oak trees um if these were like this you can see all of these have have planting areas so all of these trees are searching all the time to see whether they can seed even if you don't have a um forest nearby if you cover the area with the tree type that it is, it will stop them trying to spread and it will actually make your game faster. It, it does actually work. Not nearly so much with the recent optim optimizations. They've done a really good job making the game a lot faster than it was before. But if you're on older hardware, it might might do. Go around your map and, and any, any places you've got trees that are alive, um, just put farmland underneath them. Stop them spreading naturally and uh, it might help. Unless you want them to spread naturally more, of course, then then don't then don't but yeah okay so um i think i want to do i to do these sort of so um i think they're more expensive than just doing these aren't they they, they really are uh i don't i don't really think we need Ah, do you know what? Let's do it. Let's do it with these ones just because we can. We have the resources. Let's just make it look a bit a bit better than it would do normally. Oh. Mm -hmm. Need you to be one shorter than that, please. That's, oh yeah, the path's not in the centre. Of course the path's not in the centre. Yeah. No, the path wouldn't should be in the centre. Uh, and I'm going to use regular everyday stairs to go up to it. We're not going to use a ladder. We're going to use stairs to get up to it. 
Oop, I don't think any beavers actually come out here and walk this way anyway. But there we go. Boom. Awesome. Okay. So we'll build that out as well. It's going to take them ages to build. Um, but it's fine. We'll get to the end. And then we can do the explosives. And uh, everything can be awesome. So I think we shall leave this one here. And uh, we shall return next time and uh, carry on from there. Oh, there's loads of uh, little game pink things stuck on there. That, that, do you know what? Go for it. It's fine. It's fine. You do whatever you want to do. You can customize this. You can. There's four different patterns in here. I suppose mods will give you more patterns for this. Uh, we go with the standard Iron Teeth uh, version. There are custom patterns. Oh, okay. We could put custom patterns on their tails. <gasps> we could put hedgehogs on all their tails. We might do that. We might do that. Okay. Okay. But we'll leave it for now. Um, and then, yes. So let me know. Should we build this or should we go for the high happiness? Because this might signal Vriska to come back and see what happens. If Vriska even real. Maybe he's not. Who knows? The legend. Might just be a myth. Might just be, you know, one beaver went out when he was terribly dehydrated and started seeing things. Who knows? Who knows indeed. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this one. And I do hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun.